Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is called Solve Two-Step Equations. Our objective is to solve two-step equations. Our real-world link is on balloons. A company charges $2 for each balloon in an arrangement and a $3 delivery fee. You have $9 to spend. The equation 2x plus 3 equals 9, where x is the number of balloons, represents the situation. Work backward to solve for x. Okay, so we're going to start with the amount of money we have to spend. Well, the amount of money we have to spend is $9. We're going to subtract the $3 delivery fee. Well, 9 minus 3 is 6. And since each balloon is $2, we can divide by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So you can purchase 3 balloons. Now it says you can solve or check your work by substituting your solution into the equation. Now remember, our original equation was 2x plus 3 equals 9. So we can put our 3 back in for x, and that's what the blank here is for. So 2 times 3 plus 3 does it equal 9. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 3 is 9, and 9 does equal 9, so it is checked. Our question. How many balloons could you have purchased if there was a $1 delivery charge? Let's go down to our work backwards boxes. Start with the amount of money you have to spend. Well, we have $9 to spend. Subtract the $1 delivery fee. 9 minus 1 is $8. And since each balloon is $2, divide by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we can basically purchase 4 balloons. Think about what we did here. We did some subtracting, then we did some dividing. And those were our two steps to solve these equations. Now, in order to solve two-step equations, recall that the order of operations ensures that numerical expressions such as 2 times 5 plus 3 have only one value. To reverse the operations, undo them in reverse order. In the real-world link, we subtracted, then we divided kind of like the reverse order here. A two-step equation, such as 2x plus 3 equals 9, has two different operations. We have the multiplication and the addition. To solve a two-step equation, undo the operations in reverse order of the order of operations. So we're actually going to undo the addition or subtraction first, then we'll undo the multiplication or division. Solve 2x plus 3 equals 9 and check. Well, we're going to undo this by undoing the addition. So the opposite of addition is subtraction, which is why you see a minus 3 on both sides of our equation. This canceled out, and we're left with 2x equals 9 minus 3 is 6. They rewrote this. Then they divided by 2 on both sides to undo the multiplication. 2 divided by 2 cancels, and we're left with x equals 3. And of course, in our check step, we rewrite our original equation, 2x plus 3 equals 9. We substitute in our answer 3 for x. Now, I would prefer that we showed another step here. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 does it equal 9. And of course, yes, 9 equals 9. So the solution is x equals 3. In these two examples, same types of process. To undo the addition, we're going to subtract. We're left with 3x equals 21. Then they divided by 3 to undo the multiplication, and x equaled 7. And you can see the check step. Now when we get into negatives and subtractions, we just have to kind of pay attention. To undo the subtraction, we're going to add the 7 to both sides. What we're left with here, do not lose track of this negative, negative 2y equals 10. Divide by a negative 2 on both sides, so your answer is y equals negative 5. And our fourth guided example here, pay attention to where the variable is here. One fifth r is on the inside here. We're actually going to still undo the addition first, so we're going to subtract 4 on both sides. 
negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. Multiply by the reciprocal of 1 fifth, which is just 5 over 1, or 5. You are left with r equals negative 25. Let's try a lot of these on our own. 2x plus 4 equals 10. Now, if you need a separate sheet of paper to write these down, if you've run out of room, please feel free. Just stick it in your book if you need to. We need to undo the addition first. And the way we're going to do that is by subtracting 4 from both sides of our equation. And as this cancels out, we are left with 2x equals 10 minus 4, which is 6. To undo our multiplication here, divide by 2 on both sides. This cancels out, and we are left with x equals 3. Now, in order to check our solution, always start by rewriting the original equation 2x plus 4 equals 10. Make your substitution in. Substitute in 3 for x, so 2 times 3 plus 4 equals 10. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 4 equals 10, and of course 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 equals 10, so x equals 3 is our solution. An example B here, 3x plus 5 equals 14. Well, first we have to undo this addition here. We're going to subtract 5 from both sides. This cancels, and we are left with 3x equals 9. To undo the multiplication, divide by 3 on both sides. This cancels, and we're left with x equals 3. And once again, to check this, rewrite your original equation, 3x plus 5 equals 14. Make your substitution in for x, which was 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 plus 5 is 14. So 14 equals 14. Our answer of x equals 3 is correct. In example C, we really need to pay attention to where our variable is. It's snuck out here to the right side of our equal sign. We have 5 equals 2 plus 3x. Now I know some people like to rewrite these, such as 3x plus 2 equals 5, and you are allowed to do that if you're more used to seeing it in this form. However, I do encourage you to be able to solve it in this way as well, and that's the way we will solve this. So we have a lot of our work to do here on the right side. We need to get the x alone, and we need to undo this 2 first, so we're going to subtract a 2 on both sides of our equation to start, so that this cancels, and 5 minus 2 is 3, equals that plus 3x that we're left with, so just 3x. Now they're both 3, so I want to make sure we know which 3 we're dividing by. It's the one with the variable. So we're going to divide by that 3 on both sides, and 3 divided by 3 is 1 equals x. Now, in order to check this, rewrite our original equation, 5 equals 2 plus 3x. Make your substitution in for x, so 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is just 3. And 5 is going to equal 5, since 2 plus 3 is 5, so 1 equals x, or x equals 1 is our solution here. As we move on to example D, our first step here is to deal with this plus 5, so we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. This will cancel, and we are left with 4x equals 8. Divide by 4 on both sides. This cancels, and 8 divided by 4 is Two. And as we go to check this, rewrite our original equation, 4x plus 5 equals 13. 
make your substitution in for x, which is just 2. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 plus 5 is 13. So 13 equals 13. x equals 2 is our solution. In example E, I'd like you to try this one on your own. So go ahead and click pause, solve it, check it, then unpause to see if you've got the correct solution. Did you pause it yet? No? What are you waiting for? Really? You haven't paused it yet? Come on, try this on your own. Well, here's our finished work. We subtracted 8 from both sides and we're left with negative 5s equals negative 10 is negative 8. Being subtracted from negative 2 is negative 10. Then we divided by negative 5 on both sides and we're left with s equals a positive 2 since a negative divided by a negative is a positive 2. To show our check step, we substitute in 2 for s. And you can see as this checks out, negative 2 equals negative 2 at the end, so s equals 2 is our solution. In our last example on this page, example f, we have negative 2 plus 2 thirds w equals 10. Why don't you go ahead and try this one on your own as well. So here you can see your work to get to w equals 18, and let's make sure we understand how we get there. Hopefully your work matches this. If you add 2 to both sides to start, you're left with 2 thirds w equals 12. Now multiply by the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 halves on both sides. What you'll notice that I did was I rewrote the 12 as 12 over 1. The 3 halves times 2 thirds cancel, so we're just left with w on the left side. Now I did cross simplify here, the 12 and the 2 to get 6 and 1, so I could just multiply 6 times 3 is 18 over 1. Could you get 36 over 2? To also get down to 18? Sure, both work, but either way you do it, w equals 18. And when you go to check your work, rewrite the original equation, substitute in the 18 for w. I cross simplified again when I was multiplying. We get negative 2 plus 12, and that does equal 10. So 10 equals 10, so our solution is w equals 18. And now for our last example, our word problem here, Toya had her birthday party at the movies. It cost $27 for pizza and $8.50 per friend for the movie tickets. How many friends did Toya have at her party if she spent $78? Well, let's see how they set this up. We have the cost of the pizza at $27. It's going to be $27 no matter how many people she had over. Then it's $8.50 per friend times the number of friends, which is how you have the $8.50 in there. And that equaled $78. So again, the pizza plus the cost per friend, and we don't know how many friends, which is why that's our variable, n, equals 78. And when you go to solve this, they subtracted 27 from both sides. We're left with $8.50 n equals 51. So we had $51 after the price of the pizza was subtracted out. Divide by the $8.50 per friend per movie ticket, and you got six friends. That is it for this lesson. Good luck as you solve two-step equations.